Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Joey, you're watching Vegas D-Tech. And I know guys, I, I don't even know how to make this video. I haven't made one for so long that when I went back today and went looking for my camera gear, all my batteries were dead. I couldn't even find anything. And it's been almost like a month and a half, maybe or so, since the last time I made a video. And I'm not even gonna edit this. I'm not gonna try to fix it or anything. It's just an explanation video as to where I've been because I've had many people reach out to me on the Vegas D-Tech, my email or uh, messenger asking me, what's going on, man? How come you haven't been making any videos? No Lake Mead water reports, no product reviews. I mean, just nothing, you know? And, uh, you know, to be transparent with you guys, because, you know, you guys are like my extended family. I'll just let you know, I've just been dealing with my father who uh, right now, he's like knocking on the doors of hospice, you know, 83 years old, retired from the military. And, you know, his health has just been declining, declining for a long time now. And it just got to the point, you know, where I had to get him into the hospital and he's sitting in rehab right now. And, you know, he's like, he can't use his arms. He doesn't have the energy to get himself up and pick himself up. And it's just really tough because, you know, emotionally, mentally, physically, it's just taken a lot for me and my family to try to figure out what's the best thing for him. You know, I know he wants to come back home. I know he wants to stay in his house. I mean, God forbid, if he passes, he wants to pass at home. He doesn't want to pass in a hospital. And, uh, you know, but if you don't have the ability to get up and walk you know, and take care of yourself. Um, he, he lives alone. My mom and my dad separated a long time ago. My mother is, uh, she's Thai, right, from Thailand, and my dad's German. And, uh, you know, health-wise, I tell you, my mom's 71, my dad's 83, but health-wise, their health is completely different. Uh, my mom is like a little teeny Toyota four-banger that runs forever. And, you know, my dad is like a semi-truck that never gets used. For the longest time, I tried telling my father, you need to really focus on your health, man. You cannot allow yourself to become stagnant and dormant and just uh, lay it down. But this is exactly what happens when people go fully retired. You know, you don't have a schedule anymore. You're not a part of a program. You don't need to get up here on your own time. And if you're not doing anything with that time, um, and you just, you know, allow yourself to just sit there on a lounge chair. You know, your body is a very efficient machine. It's almost like a facility, right? Like say you have a facility with different wings. If one wing of the facility doesn't get used, they normally shut the power down. They shut down all of the utilities to that side of the wing. It may not even get pruned. It may not even get landscaped and it just goes. If you don't use that facility, it just gets overrun by weeds and so forth, right? So your body is the same way. Uh, if you aren't utilizing your body in, in certain ways, you're not making any effort to stay moving and, and exercise, then your body is gonna start getting weaker and weaker and certain things are just gonna shut down. And this has been something that slowly but surely has happened to my father over time. And I tell you, you know, my dad, he's pretty hard headed. You know, coming from a military background, very hard to tell him what to do. And, you know, and I shouldn't have to tell my dad what to do because I'm only in my 50s, right? He's already made it into his 80s. And a lot of people say your dad has already earned the privilege of fully retiring. And if he wants to just sit in a lounge chair and watch Grit, John Wayne, Audie Murphy, and uh, kick back, then that's what he wants to do. But... My dad's always had that Charles Bronson attitude. Whenever you tell him that he should get out and go walk around, take the dog for a walk, eat better, juice, you know, something like that. He always told me, he goes, when, when it's time to die, I'll die. And that's it. That's just the way it's going to be. And, you know, he's always been that tough guy. But, you know, I knew that this point in time would happen. And, you know, when I go to visit him at the hospital, he looked at me just the last time I went to go visit him, the PT nurse was there. He just looked at me. He said, 
Sonny boy, he goes, take care of your health. He goes, this ain't no way to live. I mean, mentally his mind is good, but it's just physically his body isn't there anymore. You know what I mean? Not being able to move your arms around, don't have the strength to get up, always tired and sleepy. And uh, guys, that's basically the reason why I haven't been making any kind of videos for anybody. Um, not even product reviews. I mean, all of my product reviews have come to a halt. The inbox is full with people that want me to do reviews on e-bikes, scooters, and so forth. But, man, I haven't had the motivation emotionally or physically beyond going to work and coming back home to even think about making any kind of videos, you know. And it's terrible because, you know, I've worked hard to build up, you know, the Vegas D-Tech channel I think it's like, what, my eighth year, you know, with the channel. And, hell, I, you know, people are like, hey, man, are you just going to let the channel die? I'm like, I hope not. You know, I, I, I don't want it to die, but it's just like right now I can't find that motivation to want to come out and make videos. And that's the reason why you haven't been seeing anything here for the past, you know, month or so. Even YouTube has been sending me these little teeny messages asking me that same question what's going on you know your typical two to three videos a week you've put out like one video a month two videos a month you know and just recently today recently today my mom asked me she goes joey you should reach out to your subscriber and tell them what's going on so they know you know even my mom's concerned about, you know, my channel and so forth because she likes to watch it as well. So I told her, okay, fine. I will go out today and I will make an explanation video to tell everybody what's going on. I just want to be transparent because, like I said, guys, this channel is like my garden. And uh, I actually made this channel for my father because when he started not being able to come out with me, I wanted to put together a channel to where I could go do these things that we used to do together. And instead of him, you know, physically not being able to want to come out, he could just watch it from home when he watches YouTube. And it's been working really, really well. And then the channel grew from there. So um, you guys that have been supporting my channel for all these years, you guys, uh, I just feel that I wanted to be transparent with you to let you guys know what's, you know, really been going on. And it's just that, you know, uh, I don't know how old all of you are. So the typical demographics of my channel are between 35 and 75 years old. And, uh, you know, if you haven't already gone through it, maybe you'll be, maybe you are going through it. Maybe you've already gone through it. And, uh, or if you haven't done any of that yet, perhaps you're going to be going through it at some point here in the near future. And that is the uh, having to deal with elderly getting old and you know putting them into facilities or just trying to find a way to pacify them and make them feel comfortable in their latter years as they get older and that's just been a real tough struggle and that's been the reason why i have not been posting so far and uh man i didn't even know how to go about making this video right here i've been putting it off for so long but i know i need to get back and i need to tell you guys what's going on you deserve to know and I wanted you to know. So I don't plan to go anywhere. I hope I hope shortly I can get all this stuff situated with my father. I'm just I've got him in rehab facility right now. And you know, I'm I'm seeing progress happen for him. And I hope that we can get him, you know, get him strong enough to where I can bring him back home. And uh, that would motivate me to coming back out and doing more uh, Lake Mead videos, water reports, just neighborhood walk and talks. I don't know, how do you guys like this? Do you guys like, uh, you know, coming out with me on a neighborhood walk and talk? Is this something that you could stomach? Uh, seeing a talking head walking around the neighborhood talking to you? Um, if so, I'll do more of this. You know, I don't necessarily need to go out to Lake Mead every time. If it's cool for you, you know, walking around with me, checking out typical neighborhoods as we walk and shoot the breeze, I'll make more of these type videos for you too, as well as incorporating uh, more product reviews as I get around to being motivated to doing it because those are piling up and I've given those guys as many excuses as I can about why I can't do it 
and make them right now. But once I get the motivation and the energy to come back and make more of those, I will. But anyways, guys, just a real quick video for you to let you know what's been going on. I don't want this uh, uh, video here to look like some sympathetic video, you know, poor me type situation. I just didn't want it to be that. But like, like I said, my mom told me to get out here today and talk to you guys and let you guys know what's been going on. And I told my mom, I'm like, hey, all right, all right. I'll go grab my gear. I'll walk down the street here and I'll let you guys know the 411. I don't plan to go anywhere, guys. You know, like I said, I've, I've worked on this channel for so long and uh, I want to make videos. But, you know, you just got to you got to be in the mood. And how how do you find that motivation, you know, to come out when, you know, your father is not doing well in the hospital? Oh, God. You know, and then we got to deal with all the paperwork, trying to get his VA papers in place you know, medical records and so forth like that. And uh, trying to combine, you know, financials, insurance, as well as dealing with your, you know, father's emotional and physical state and his well-being and, and also respecting the wishes that he wants. You know, 20, what, 21 years in the Air Force, four years in the Navy. So a total of 25 years of service, you know, you want to respect the man's wishes. You know, he wants to come home. I'm trying to get him there. And like I said, it's been it's been quite the battle um, dealing with all of this stuff. And I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much for continuing to support, you know, the Vegas D-Tech channel. And uh, I will, I promise, I will be, I will be back here in one way or another to, uh, make more videos again the, the the lake mead stuff is still important to me uh the you know doing product reviews that keeps me motivated to make videos in between the lake mead videos and uh i intend to keep doing those things for you uh just as soon as i'm able to put this stuff behind me yeah so i really appreciate all of you guys and all of the support that you've given me uh staying with my channel you know you see subscribers come you see subscribers go and that just happens. You know, for the longest time I sat there and I let that eat me up whenever I would just watch my subscriber numbers. They go down, they go up, they go down, they go up. But I just don't allow that to bother me anymore. It is going to be what it's going to be. And uh, I will continue making these videos as long as I enjoy making them. And uh, I hope to be back here real soon to provide more of these videos for you. So just stay tuned guys. Just wanted to make this real quick video for you to say thank you so much for continuing to uh, support, you know, me and this uh, Vegas D-Tech channel. Like I said, you know, it's uh, seven, eight years now. I've made it. I don't intend to let it die. I just, uh, you know, this is a certain point in my life right here where I just don't have or I have not had, you know, the time, the motivation uh, to come out here and make these videos. But... You know, my mother insisted that I needed to get out here and uh, quit feeling bad. You know, things are what they are. This is just a cycle and progression of life. And uh, I have to realize why I made this channel in the first place and um, continue to do just that. So bear with me here, guys. You know, as soon as I can get some wind uh, beneath my wings and... Uh, you know, gain that energy and motivation to want to come back out here and make these videos. I intend full and well to get back out to Lake Mead, uh, continue doing the uh, Lake Mead water reports and, uh, you know, doing uh, e-bike reviews, product reviews, so forth, you know, and whatever the hell else that I can do that is fun and beneficial and helpful and useful and continue to connect with all of you out there that watch this channel. So guys, without saying any more, you guys know the 411. I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys at that. I will uh, catch you guys on the very next video. You guys all be well, and I'll see you back here on the next upload. All right. Thank you once again. It's Joey, Vegas D Tech. You guys be well. Bye now.